Hello and welcome to the first video for my channel, I Open Flesh and Blood. I went with the least creative name I could think of because really I just want to videotape me opening some flesh and blood. Uh, now, because this is the first video, I want to do a little bit of backstory, which is I uh, have notoriously bad luck. Um, now in life, in big, big events, my luck is fine, but in small little things like this and gambling and uh, raffles, tiny things like that, my, my luck is is really bad. And so I wanted to uh, record my box openings so that there was proof. Um, maybe you stumbled across this, you want to experience my bad luck. Um, that's awesome. That's what this is here for. Um, or maybe I'll get something really good and that will also uh, be videotaped. But uh, either way, this is my very first video, very first setup. I have my trusty foil in line strike, which is actually uh, miscut uh, as my lucky charm. Um, as you can see, this card is uh, way too high. Um, but it was really, I guess, lucky of me to have pulled this this miscut. Um, but uh, either way, it's gonna sit back here. Uh, that one over there is, you know, maybe I'll have a good card, who knows, but that's gonna go over there. Um, anyway, so this is the first box of a case of four that I just opened. So the first four videos, if I, if I even get to four videos, will be uh, from the same box. And I'm uh, going to have a look at running tally of uh, how, how my life is doing, because that's fun for me. You know, whenever I see other people's box openings, I want to see like <laughs> what their luck is like in the long term. Uh, I think that's really fun to track. Uh, and so I'm going to do that. Uh, again, this is my first video. Uh, it's really just practice for Monarch. Monarch's uh, first edition is gonna come out in around a month and I just want to get used to doing it because honestly right now I'm pretty nervous. I have never done it before. There's a bunch of junk in my way. Uh, my camera, a microphone. It just feels a little unnatural. Normally I'd be like watching Netflix, opening things and uh, kind of not really caring what I get. Um, truthfully, I've opened quite a lot of Unlimited. Um, but I am missing one thing, which is uh, a rainbow foil mask of momentum that's the uh, only legendary uh, that i don't have currently um, but of course i will take an eye um i will maybe again this is your first time experiencing flesh and blood you're probably like wow it's five minutes in and he's just opening his first card um but i'm going to kind of talk about the pack contents real quick so you have this like token doesn't really matter uh the way we like to do is one two three four five six seven put it at the front now these seven are the commons, um, class commons. And then there's going to be, yeah, how am I gonna do this with all this junk in my way? Uh, then we have four um, generic commons. It's gonna be an equipment card, and then it's gonna be your first rare, uh, which is staunch response. I, I, I actually really like this card. This dude this is a beefy looking dude. Like can, how, he's gonna hit himself on those shoulders. You know what I mean? Like he's gonna hit himself. Uh, the second card is kind of the bonus card. It could be a rare. In this case, it's a super rare. Last search effort. Um, not that interesting. And the last one is going to be your foil card. It could, of course, be pretty much anything. Um, but this is just a foil common. But it uh, looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I don't have much space. But like I said, going to get used to things. doesn't really matter. I'm just going to throw junk over there. Um, so yeah, if you are watching this three, four, five, six, seven, I hope, uh, you do leave a comment of being like, why the hell are you watching this? You know what I mean? Are you just here to watch some, someone suffer? I have no idea what I'm going to name this. I'm going to try to stay away from, uh, click baiting because it's just not that. What the fuck? Okay. Another latch to effort. All right. All right. Um, again, I have a lot of those are not particularly great, but, uh, in this case, we have a foil rare. I really like this foiling. This one looks real nice. How do other people do this? Do they look in the camera or do they look in real life? Yeah. Anyways, uh, token one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can probably just dump that there. 
Um, we have these four. Got to think of a better way to do this. Bam. Drone of Brutality, the first banned card. Uh, it's not going to be printed anymore in future sets. Of course, we have an Overpower and Rainbow Foil Snitch. Um, this is uh, Welcome to Wraith, which is the first set. And I think the foils look much better in the first set than the second set. I'm not really sure why that is. Maybe they put more effort into making sure it looks good. Um, token, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get that junk right there. I guess I don't even need to do that. I can just flip it over. Oh. Uh, again, normally when I'm opening these things, I'm like sorting them out because uh, I do sell starter decks, so I need everything pretty organized. But uh, obviously, it's not working for the unboxing. You guys do a blade shunt. Nature's Path Pilgrimage. Let's move on. A little bit faster here. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to flip it over. One, two, three, four. We got our equipment. Really like the art on this one right here. Um, rare. Rare. Oh, well, this is a rainbow foil majestic, uh, which is pretty good, except this, I think, is one of the least... Uh, <laughs> worth it majestics uh brute kind of not not in the greatest space right now um and so yeah that's uh much rather a different majestic there but uh still rainbow foil majestic i think you only get about one per case normally so uh, a little sad but again welcome to i got uh, i open flesh and blood don't even know the name of my channel because i just made it a little bit ago um, rare, rare, and common. Probably put. Um, again, as this is my first video, I kind of want to. I probably should organize this better. Probably this all can probably just go in one. That stack, right, y'all? And then I can just sort it later. You know, growing pains, growing pains. Um. Now, I made a promise that I would never promote this. I'm not going to link it anywhere. It, it, it's really just for me. I mean, of course, I do hope people uh, <laughs> watch it. Um, but there's so many people doing unboxings. It, it, it really, truly is. Uh, man, I need to find a better angle here because, truthfully, I can't see shit over this camera. Um, oh, yeah, practice makes perfect. Okay, so what are we doing? We're going over one, two, three, four. Put all that junk here. Five, actually five. We got double ninja rares and a flock of the the wackas. All right, getting better. I'm getting better. Getting faster. Um, again, if you're new to Flesh and Blood, kind of cr going crazy right now. This is the unlimited set. Uh, not worth. Not nearly as much as the first editions, but again, I'm practicing to hopefully open some first editions of the next set coming out, Monarch, uh, in the near future. Um, it's not looking great. I'm almost halfway done. I have not gotten a single actual Majestic. Uh, again, not, not the greatest. One, two, three, four, five. I love that I have to count to myself because I cannot count silently. We have Iron Song Determination. This is a really great warrior card. And another flock of the Featherwalk. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so, so far we have, what do we have? Uh, yeah, three supers, one Rainbow Foil Majestic. I probably should sleeve that, but it's the brute one. You know, whatever, whatever. Um, Robert, one, two, three. Uh, again. Ooh, the Red Drone of Brutality. Maybe one day these will be worse than that. I highly doubt it. Uh, I remember when they were banned. There was a big, big, big uptick in people selling it, but uh, it's kind of died down now. I actually have quite a lot of them sitting behind me. Um, but uh, if you're new, go to fabstarterdecks.com. It's the uh, starter deck store that I run. Uh, it's just a quick, cheap, easy way to get started playing the game. I make a whole bunch of uh, 
common slash rare starter decks for you. Just get a taste of uh, how the game plays. Because once you play the game, you know you like it. Because I, I really do think that this game, for the most part, if you just sit down and play it, you're going to like it. It's such a unique game. Really fun. Um, I was, I was not, I played magic in when I was very young before my parents were like, maybe, uh, this is demonic stuff. You, we're not going to buy you anymore. Um, so I kind of moved on to video games. So I'm not the hugest magic person. Um, but I, I, this game is so fun and I barely even played it. I've been pretty safe with quarantine and stuff. Uh, I don't really have a webcam set up or a desk capable of doing it. Um, my computer's actually over there. I have to do this over here because I just don't have space. Um, man, this is just not going well. I actually don't know if I want it to not go well because that will prove the point that of this channel's existence. Um, but again, we're nearing two thirds done and not a single normal majestic or higher. Um, but uh, anyways, time snap potion. We have route, another super rare, another pretty decent one, warrior. Uh, nothing in the rainbow though. Uh, but yeah, right now warrior is doing very well in uh, organized play, so all the warrior cards are worth a little bit more. Um, and again, that's kind of why brute was not double blessing of deliverance. And a Stonewall Confidence. Okay. Maybe 10 packs to go. Man, cracking by yourself is, is a real fast. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Here it is. Disable into... Oh, look at that. Is that just a camera? Oh, maybe that's just a glare. Into Barraging Beatdown. Not Barraging. I always say Barraging. And just another comment again. Let's... Go. Okay, we have uh, maybe eight more. Hopefully the audio's working. Good old Lightning Strike right there, blurry as fuck, but you know. It's there. It's there. Give us that luck. Here we go. We got Savage Feast. Bill Blade Shunt. And another common. I do like this one, though. I really like Ninja because I'm kind of an idiot and I feel like Ninja. Uh, goes really well with me. Uh, you just kind of attack and attack and attack and attack. You don't got to read a lot. You don't do it. Um, I know I'm pretty bad, and I think you need to do a lot of good setups and stuff, but, you know, whatever. Um, here we go. And another rare. And another. Okay. Okay. Um, if it continues like this, might be one of the worst cases I've ever opened in my life. Again, I didn't rig this. Opened my seal case. This is the first box I pulled out. Um, one, two, three, four, five. We have, uh, oh, oh, man, another brute. <laughs> another alpha rampage. Man, I've been watching, uh, again, I've been unboxing myself. I've seen other people do unboxings. This kind of doubling is happening a lot. I see a lot of kind of doubling. It's probably... And one of the least worth <laughs> doublings, but uh, yeah, Alpha Rampage box, cool, cool, cool. Um, but at least we got a we got a majestic. Uh, I think the uh, kind of agreed upon average is around two majestics per box. Again, you can get one. Uh, th those are normal majestics, not including the foil. Um, Self response, card rich crush. And I'm thinking uh, if I even get one more, I'd be, uh, I'd be, I'd be lucky. I'd be even, I'd be lucky to get one more. Um, we want to go fast or we want to go slow. I, I, I like both. So let's go slow. We have overpower, blackout kick, because I think for first edition, we're going to go pretty slow. But for this one, and I fat finger that. Uh, okay. Rainbow foil equipment. Not too bad. Maybe worth five bucks. This one always weird is kind of weird to me because it's like, is it a giant gauntlet, right? A big giant Goliath's gauntlet, or is this perspective just kind of weird? But I'll put that in the uh, quote unquote hit stack. 
I do think once I get enough, I'm going to make like a, a bling enhancement pack for uh, my starter deck website. So if you just want to start the game and, and go right ahead to, to bling it out some of your equipment, uh, you can do that. Um, another barraging beatdown, man, brute. Oh man, brute. Oh man, brute. This is fucking brutal. Um, blood rush bellow again, not bad. I really like this art as well. It's just not worth much. Just not worth much. And at this point I'm kind of, <laughs> uh, just hoping, uh, to, to recoup some costs with these. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to edit in the prices. I probably will try. So maybe you're seeing the current prices right now. I don't know them off the top of my head, but, um, not great, not great at all. Uh, no. We got one back. We got one back left. Dorinthia. Oh, Dorinthia. Please. <laughs> I mean, we already got the two Majestics. We already got the uh, Rainbow Foil Majestic. So really what we're hoping for is a Fabled or a Legendary. Probably not, though. Here it is. Last pack. Last pack magic. Heard it said a million times. We got another breakneck battery. Another freaking brute cord. What do we got here? Ooh, another rare. Fuck my life. All right, over hour. So that <laughs> was honestly one of the most perfect ways we can start uh, this channel because this is what it's for. This is what the experience is going to be but uh, let's recap a little bit we have uh two majestics um let me look over the camera yep two majestics normal ones we have one rainbow foil majestic we got one rainbow foil common nice to have but uh, yeah and we have four uh super rares i forget what the average of super rares is supposed to be but I feel like this is not the best. I feel like this is also pretty low. Um, maybe I missed one because I'm opening it weird. But uh, either way, that's going to be it for the very first box. Uh, the next episode, I guess you're going to call it, or the next video will be the second box from this case. But it is looking real bad. But I hope you join anyways. Um, and yeah, apologies for my fat fingers. All right.